Happy Friday, everyone. Well, it was certainly a wild day yesterday in central and eastern Nebraska. Record high temperatures, very windy, and then multiple rounds of storms working over the area. Take a look at the storm reports that we got yesterday. Those broken tree icons that you're seeing on this map, those are reports of wind damage, reports of fences down, power lines down. Yes, trees and tree branches down. A little bit of roof damage in some locations, especially where we saw wind gusts 70, even up to 80 miles per hour in a couple spots. And then there was hail as well. A lot of the hail was dime, penny, quarter size. But there were a couple spots that saw up to golf ball size hail. And a couple other things to note, that little red icon near Columbus, that was not a tornado, but a funnel cloud. Almost a tornado, but it didn't actually touch down. And then over in North Platte, what's that icon? That was a dust storm. No storms, but it was windy and it's been so dry. There was extremely low visibility. There was even a car accident in North Platte because of that low visibility and that dust storm. So one of those just extra crazy days in central and eastern Nebraska. Fortunately, things quieter today and cooler as well. <laughs> Look at our high temperatures today. Not saying those mid to upper 90s, no, just low to mid 80s for highs. There is one place I still want to mention a rank chance. I think most are going to be dry in the state today. But if you're in the far southeastern part of the state, including Beatrice, I do want to mention the chance for some isolated and showers and storms through the early afternoon. Uh, notice warmer to the east, cooler to the west, but also a difference in the winds today. So there's not going to be much wind at all in the far eastern part of the state. Then in the central part of the state, we're going to call it a breezy day. But out in the panhandle, it is going to be windy. In fact, now we're going out some wind gusts 40, 50 miles per hour out there. So some significant variation as far as the winds go. Tonight, this might be a little bit of a shock to the system after seeing those temperatures in the 90s, feeling temperatures in the 50s and 40s seem awfully chilly. But this is actually where we should be uh, this time of year. So mid to low 50s, central eastern part of the state. But look at the mid to low out in the panhandle and a wind chill factor because it's not going to be as windy as it is going to be during the day today but still going to be a breezy night so take a few degrees off those temperatures and that's what it's really going to be feeling like saturday is looking like a dry day uh, i do think probably a couple degrees warmer than what we're going to see today but temperatures not that different i do think tomorrow the wind situation is pretty uniform across the day. It just looks like a breezy day with mostly in wind gusts, 20, 25 miles per hour. Uh, mostly sunny in the far eastern part of the state. Most will see partly cloudy skies. Mostly cloudy for parts of the panhandle. And I do think that's where the rain chance will begin Saturday night. Maybe as early as 7 o'clock, we'll start to see a few stray showers pop up in the panhandle. Notice at 7 o'clock Saturday, in fact, I think for most in the central and eastern parts, it's going to be a dry Saturday evening, but for the evening hours on Saturday, I do want to mention a small rain chance out in the panhandle. I really don't think it's going to be till the overnight hours that most of us start to see some rain. And I do think uh, even we're talking about late Saturday night, early Sunday morning, here we are at 4 a.m., the best chance of rain is going to be the northern part of the state. Why? Because we are talking about another cold front coming in. So the best chance of rain is going to be right along that cold front. So when we jump ahead to 9 a.m. Sunday morning, I still think the best chance of rain is going to be in the northern half of the state. It's going to be drier the farther south you are. As far as the best chance of rain on Sunday for the Lincoln, Omaha area, that's looking like about two o'clock in the afternoon. And it does look like during the afternoon hours, probably going to be dry in the panhandle. The chance of rain limited to the central and eastern part of the state. Notice some gaps. So not a guarantee you're going to see rain on Sunday, but I do want to mention the chance being there. One other thing that's noteworthy, Sunday is finally looking like a day where we can't even call it breezy anywhere in the state. Not much wind anywhere in the state. It's been quite some time since we've said that. And I do think that once we get to the early evening hours on Sunday, all the rain is going to be out of here. Look at our temperatures, seven o'clock Sunday evening. Most of us are going to be sitting in the low 70s with comfortable levels of humidity, no rain around. So looking like a good Sunday evening to have dinner outside.